First, let's look at the azimuth, the angle on the ground away from true south. This uh, square here is a view looking straight down on a, <laughs> a cubicle house. This is a plan view of your house. So it's February, and you're trying to figure out what angle will the sun shine in sideways through your windows at 9 in the morning. So we're going to look at February at 9 in the morning. All right, February is month two. So we're looking at this curved line that is month two. And we're going to look at 9 in the morning. So 9 in the morning is this up and down line going down from the 9. The azimuth lines are these radial lines going straight out from the center. And if you look and see where does February intersect 9 in the morning, it intersects just a little bit um, to the right of the 50 degree line. So that makes us think, well, maybe Maybe our azimuth is about 51 degrees, let's say. So if you wanted to, on your plan view of your house, for 9 in the morning, you could get a protractor and, and draw an angle at 51 degrees off of south. That's where the morning sun will come in. All right, now... Let's look at how high the sun is in the sky at that time. Here is a section view looking at the side of your house. So here's one of your windows. The sun is low in the sky because it's February. The sun's going to come in through your window, but at what angle? We want to figure out um, how big an overhang we should have and where it's going to strike our concrete floors and so forth. So here on our sun path diagram, number two again is February. So there's our side to side curvy line for February. Then here's our up and down line at nine for nine in the morning. And those two lines intersect um, near some altitude circles. One of the altitude circles you can see is marked at 20 degrees altitude. This is the circle going around your sky dome. Here's another altitude that's higher at 30 degrees. Well, it looks like your two lines intersect about two-thirds of the way between 20 and 30, so it looks like your altitude at this time is about 27 degrees. That's not very high. So here you can draw with a pencil and a protractor, draw lines coming through your window at 27 degrees off of horizontal. Now how about when spring starts? March, March 21. And how about the afternoon in spring? All right, let's do that as an example. Here is line, the line for month three, and March is the third month, so this is the March month right here. And here's an up and down line that's marked with a three. That's three o'clock in the afternoon. All right, so there's our March line. There's our 3 p.m. line. And what azimuth line do they come closest to? What straight line coming out from the center are they closest to? They are close to the 60 degree line, just a little bit to the right of it, but not much. So let's say our azimuth, our direction away from true south, is about 59 degrees in the afternoon in March. So in your plan view of your house, you could draw lines of sunbeams coming through your window at 59 degrees. Now, how high is the sun in the sky? Here is a view looking at the side of your house, actually a section view, and we want to see what angle are those sunbeams coming in in the afternoon in March. So looking at our sun path diagram again, here again is our back and forth line for month three. March is the third month. 
Here is our up and down line looking at 3, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And where they intersect these altitude circles is in between the 30 degree circle and the 40 degree circle, maybe not quite halfway. Maybe the altitude is about 34 degrees. So on your section view, you could draw some sunbeams coming through your window at 34 degrees. And you would know uh, how far back to keep your overhangs and where the sun is going to hit the floor when it gets into your room. Here are some sources related to sun path diagrams. The source at the bottom is a place where you can download sun path diagrams from the U of O Energy Lab for any latitude you want.